My background as a curator is that I've been working between the visual arts and the performing arts, especially contemporary dance and theater. So this in between all the time. And uh, I've been mainly working in regions that might be considered peripheric, which is, you know, on the margins somewhere, like Lofoten Islands or New Greenland, and so on and so forth. Uh, as a curator, because my background is in theater, even though I study art history uh, and literature and so on and so forth, you know, it's the dramaturg. And I see it more as a dramaturgy or a discursive landscape of ideas that you move. So there is a movement always in my exhibition. A chapter one, which is called The Village, which is reflecting on the first chapter which took part in the summer of 2020, in June to August, in Galeri Jarska, in Juhola. And the second chapter uh, we opened here in Juvascula uh, in September, uh, a parallel with Geuro Museum, which is the unbound story. Uh, and the chapter three will open in February um, uh, 2021, uh, and it's called The Coming Home. Uh, so the notion of place from belonging to displacement is more to a discussion around this this, this idea that we are more mobile than we've ever been and there is a lot of conflicts, environmental changes, uh, economical reasons, political reasons that makes us forced to move, uh, to be mobile uh, within the world, both in the north and in the south globe, you know. Some of these displacements are of course uh, forced displacements. Others are you, done voluntarily or seemingly voluntarily because of love, because of work or whatsoever. But in the end of the day we can see this acceleration of mobilization and globalization. A lot of the artists had a very personal take on it and, and in one hand there is this social identity question, where do I belong, where, you know, due to migrations and, and, and these kind of questions, uh, uh, but also where do I belong in society, where, where does my, 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 my being, my sexuality or, uh, or my, um, let's say, ethnicity, all these kind of different markers that you have. Do you belong into a, a society or do you feel that you're pushed aside? So this kind of social where, where artists have been working with historical personal biographies and histories to, to discuss their own position, not only individual but also universal, like I could be anyone, you know. Like. Uh, a second part which was very uh, uh, kind of stood out in the application was that there's a lot of people reflecting on the turbulent changes in society at the moment where you as a human feel like you're losing control of what's happening and it's very much based in this kind of ecological catastrophes economical changes and you know crisis uh, pandemics of course uh, political upheavals uh, and how kind of traditional structure doesn't seem to work anymore. They have, they are out of date. Uh, and this creates a lot of um, anxiety and uncertainty in, in the artist as much as most of us. So a lot of the work are trying to deal with this kind of invent, what do you say, this, this, of unavoidable change. We are living in this period which is it's a, like a historical transformation process uh, which is currently taking place, you know. 
uh, both society-wise and uh, ecological uh, or planetarian-wise. And there is a story from floor one, from the base floor to floor one and floor two, uh, where there is this, this, this kind of story that you can follow. You enter like, a, like a, the, the, the bonfire and the storyteller starts to tell in Ina Svensson's work where you can sit down and reflect and from the bonfire the stories arise with the smoke. And on the base floor uh, there are works that are really working on this in-betweenness, how to relate to a new physical uh, place, a city or a landscape if you are a foreigner or a person who, a stranger who doesn't know it, or it reflects on being between two cultures and not feeling part of either or, you know. And with Nina Svensson, it's also a very strong sense of uh, what region do you belong to? Who, who can be part of this bonfire and who will be outside? So in Nina Svensson is really this, this question about borders and territory as well, as many other levels, but that's one part of it. So this kind of story continues to the, the first floor where uh, Anna Bianca Diello and, uh, and uh, Nina Letton and Brown also reflects on these kind of personal narratives, uh, where to belong, where Nina really goes specific into her family history, which becomes a story about central Finland and Finland and the woman's role, but also the man's role in relation to the woman and what, what um, freedom did she have, what could she do, and, and the cycle of life and death and the spiritual quest. How, how do we relate to the people that we lost? Are they still with us? So it's a, it's a very rich, and this kind of also connects then to the, the story of Yariula, these beautiful paintings, which is a starting point from his essay when he was eight years old, where he writes what will happen in the year 2000. And he speaks about, very beautiful, he, he speaks about uh, that that everyone will be locked inside and you have to have a permission to go outside. And if you don't have the permission, you get caught. And he goes back to this and, and he made a copy and he used fragments of this essay and he took pieces from his artist friend in the studio and stitched together these different fragments of the canvas to make a big canvas and then he painted on it. So it's very much like, uh, for him, like what is this to make uh, that history is made through the present, not the other way around. So that's what kind of the notion of how do we produce history and understanding of history is this kind of question in the material. So we have all these kind of very much in this, uh, trying to f make sense of the world. But as you enter to the third floor, it becomes very strange because then these narrative ways of dealing with your life and your history doesn't seem to apply anymore. So the floor, uh, third floor, uh, more and more the, the, the works and the subjects who are dealing with different, they are losing control and even if they try to tell a story, it's not enough because something else is telling it, maybe a bacteria or maybe uh, the animals. Or, so it becomes a very other way of dealing with it. So, so, so there is an embryo of a new narrative on the third floor, which is the bridge then to the chapter three.